Okay, Roger Mufasa University. Today, really, a real serious, serious, serious situation. People are getting really sick because they're, 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 they're having a problem with their digestive systems and the products that are coming into your body have to be broken down in the exact certain ways with exact certain chemistry and enzymes it's not being done correctly and therefore the products that are in your body your blood the things that are in your feces your bacteria and all that stuff has to work in harmony and it's not and they don't know how to understand what the harmony is they don't even know what the tune is that what what they are missing is all of the tiny tiny little bits and pieces of trace elements and the things that they disregard as being insignificant are extremely significant and lead to chronic illness and one of the most significant things is bacteria that creates enzymes that creates metals and the metals do the things in your body transferring things around now i'm going to show you how to actually become a billionaire somebody has to do this and i'm going to tell you right now if anybody wouldn't spend the money to do this, they would be insane. Follow me. Hey, hello, it's Roger Mud Fossil University with one of the most important talks that I have ever given in my entire life. And it may be the most important talk you will ever listen to in your entire life. Have you ever wondered how people become billionaires? How they come up with billions of dollars? They come up with an idea and then they press it forward. And what is the idea? Well... Here's one right here that will make someone a billionaire. You're going to be able to make money, save lives, and create happiness all at the same time and make the public healthy. And how are you going to do that? By starting a business called Health by the Numbers. Why is it called Health by the Numbers? Health by the Numbers means that we need to know the numbers of every single element that's in your body. I mean everything. What's in your, your excretory system, your feces, your urine your breath, we need to know what is in your blood, every metal, every trace element, not just a handful. This is the issue. They're not getting to the full analysis of what is in your body. Therefore, there is no norm for health. So, someone has to do this. Someone is going to make a ton of money with no real big I'm going to tell you how to do it, and you'll be able to sit in your living room and just collect the money. I'm, uh, it's going to be that simple. Now, here I'll tell you how to do it. What you have to do is you have to analyze all the things that are in a person's body. So, you first of all, you got to collect the specimens. Blood, feces, urine, hair, whatever. You make a kit, just like they do the ancestry-type ancestry thing. So, you, you, the guy sends you in 200 bucks. You send him out the kit. It has a number on there. You don't even know who it came in from because it could have been, he bought it for his uncle or something. It comes in with a number on it. You scan it and you go beep. And from then on, it's tracked by that number. And it will follow and tell you all of the things that are in that sample that was sent in. Of all the different stuff, every single bit and piece, you are going to need some hardware. You need some hardware to do that, obviously. What's the hardware? You're going to need, they call them x-ray fluoroscopes, molecular analyzers, things like that. But somebody's going to have to put that money in. And I think a GoFundMe or somebody that has money, all they have to do is acquire the equipment, have the stuff sent in, post it to a database. And what would the database consist of? A database would have no personal information whatsoever. When that sample came in, it wouldn't be accompanied by anybody's name. It would have a number attached to it. And it could be a number associated by the person that got the kit. So you would have no idea who it came from. All it would do, when the kit arrived, you'd break it open and you would put in these data that the person said. The date, the date of birth, the sex, the race, the this and that, occupation, whatever comments they put in. Then their blood chemistry, enzymes, metals, 100% of the bacteria, parasites, everything that's in their body would print out in this form. Now, then you would send them a confirmation of the, you know, uh, or you wouldn't even have to send them a confirmation. Whatever, however, you would communicate back that it was all done, look up on the database, and you will see your number will be up there associated to your values, and you can relate those to the norms, and it'll print out a variance report. Say, this is high, this is low, this is normal. Now, 
when you find that report, you are going to find out that all of these things, this chemistry, this bacteria, this enzymes, these metals, if they're way out of the range, you've got an issue. That's why you're sick. That's why you have problems. Now, they can say, well, it's caused because of genes and this and that. Well, that's fine. But let's look a little better than that. Let's talk about it differently. Let's say maybe it's not caused by any of that. Maybe it's caused by the bacteria that's supposed to create the enzymes, that's supposed to deal with the metals, and that bacteria has already been killed by antibiotics. Which is the case. I'm going to tell you this is right now. That is the case. A lot of the stuff in your body, that anti, the bacterial little workers for you, in your body break down into a size that your body can deal with. And it has to be an, uh, into an atomic size that's so small that your body and your blood can carry it around by just holding it by one little electron. It doesn't get that small without these enzymes. The enzymes don't get there without the bacteria. It's a process. And I understand it, and, 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 and I think they're starting to understand it now, but mainstream medicine is, is really against it. Uh, it's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing. They're against anything that intrudes on what they've said. You know, in other words, there are, you can't cure RA. Well, Jody, maybe it's not cured, but it's certainly helping the things we're doing. And they're told, she, she went and she told her rheumatologist, she said, you know, this is what's helping me. Absolutely no interest whatsoever. None whatsoever. And, that's, and nobody was going to have any interest because as soon as they open their mouth about something, their peers destroy them. So I'm out here trying to open the doors. Once we get that basic history, we get all this stuff and the health, we're going to get results. It's going to establish norms. We're going to have relationships. And then we are going to solve people's health. And you are going to be a billionaire.